What's up guys, MLT Tricks here, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at this magic trick that Matt Franco performed on Rob Gronkowski a couple years ago on Matt Franco's TV special. And basically what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you guys how the whole trick may have been set up between Matt Franco and uh, Rob Gronkowski and how a suspicious camera cut may have allowed Matt Franco to actually pull off this effect. But before we get into that, if you are new here to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more magic reveals like this. And I also post card and magic trick performance and tutorial videos on the channel as well. But anyways, let's get right into this reveal. So if you guys have not seen the performance of Matt Franco performing this trick, I will be leaving the link in the description to it and also throughout this reveal I'm going to be putting screenshots and clips from Matt Franco's performance into the video so you guys will have a better understanding of what I am talking about and I'm going to start off this reveal by basically explaining and summarizing what Matt Franco did in his performance. So this trick started off with Matt Franco having Rob Gronkowski throw a football as closest as he could to a cone that was in the football field as you guys can see from this photo and then from here Matt Franco asked for a towel that Rob Gronkowski's trainer was holding and then uh, Matt Franco asked for Gronk's phone and basically explained that he was going to put the phone into the towel and then throw it as close as he could to the cone basically what uh, Rob Gronkowski had just did with the football and then from here when the towel landed sure enough there was no phone in the towel so the phone had essentially disappeared and then Matt Franco asked the trainer to call Rob Gronkowski's phone and sure enough they could hear a ringtone coming from the football that Gronk had thrown earlier so they went over to the football Matt Franco took a knife cut open the top of the football and sure enough inside the football was Rob Gronkowski's phone so at first glance this trick can seem absolutely impossible and instead of me saying that the only way this trick was done was through a camera cut and then not showing you guys any evidence of one I actually have two screenshots of really conclusive evidence that prove a camera cut and then allowing Matt Franco to pull off this impossible effect. But before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that there are no other reveal videos on YouTube for this specific trick, which I found kind of interesting and surprising because the video has like 5 million views and I figured there would be at least one reveal video on it, but there are actually no reveal videos. And this leads me to believe that there actually was a camera cut that took place because yeah, I guess no one must have spotted it or um, they just really couldn't think of a plausible way that Matt Franco could have pulled off this trick. But anyways, let's get into where I believe there was a camera cut in this trick. So I'm gonna bring your attention back to the part of the performance where Matt Franco took Rob Gronkowski's phone, put it in the towel and then Matt Franco threw the towel and when the towel landed, the phone had disappeared. So I'm gonna play the part of the video of the performance so you guys know what I'm talking about. So here is that part of the trick. Like, I'll, I'll just leave it wrapped up inside of the towel. All right, let's see how close I can get it. Yeah, that was perfect. That was really close. That was close. Check yeah, it out. Really yeah, close. check it out. Where did my phone go? Dude. Hold on, stop for a second. Can you call him? So that is what the scene looked like in normal speed. And now I'm going to slow down the very part of that scene where this possible camera cut may have taken place. So check it out. Of the towel, all right? Let's see how close I can get it. So as you guys saw from that clip, there clearly was a change in camera angle as Matt Franco was throwing the towel. And some of you guys may be thinking that was all filmed in one shot and they just wanted to change the camera angle so they could get the full shot of Matt Franco throwing the towel. However, I took a screenshot right before the camera angle switch and right after it. So let's take a look at these two photos. So the photo at the top shows the camera angle right before the camera switch and the photo at the bottom shows the camera angle right after the camera switch. And as you guys can see from these two photos, there are some clear and distinct differences. And the first being Matt Franco's left hand. So on that top photo, you guys can see that Matt Franco's hand is open and his fingers are spread out sort of in the motion as if he was going to give a high five to someone and in that bottom photo matt franco's hand is clenched in a fist essentially so that is the first distinct difference between these two photos and the second one is his jacket and what i mean by that is the pattern on his sleeve of his left arm is different between the top photo and the bottom photo i know this is a little bit more of a technical difference between these two photos but it is still a distinct difference and i'm going to put some arrows on the screen right now so you guys can get a better visual 
of how the pattern on his jacket is different from the top photo and the bottom photo. And also I'm going to talk about something that's important here is that right before they made this camera angle switch, there was no indication that Matt Franco's left hand was going to be making a fist. And what I mean by that is that it did not look like his fingers um, were going to be curled up in any way possible. It just jumped from his hand being straight up, like straight out, his, his fingers being straight out to his hand being clenched in a fist. And if you guys need a little bit better understanding of what I'm talking about there, just make sure to rewatch the part of the video where I put the clip of this camera angle switch. And you guys can see that it did not look like his left hand was going to be making a fist. So those are the two distinct differences between these two photos. I'm sure you guys can easily see them here and they're pretty apparent. And what I'm going to be doing now is talking about what this camera cut may have allowed Matt Franco to actually do. So let's assume this was a camera cut and right before they would have switched the camera angle the producer would of uh, the shoot um, would have called cut everyone would have stopped and Matt Franco would have taken the phone from the towel given it to someone behind the scenes or Matt Franco himself would have taken it to the football that Rob Gronkowski threw earlier and I'm not saying that they used the same football that Rob Gronkowski threw earlier because they obviously would have needed to take it away and I'm also not saying that the football that Rob Gronkowski threw was an actual football. This could very well have been some sort of gimmick to allow them to put something into the football and make it appear that the you know the football had not been cut open at all. And I'll explain um, a touch on this a little bit later in this reveal, but for now, let's assume they take Rob Gronkowski's thrown, um, phone, put it into the football, and put it back in the exact place that Rob Gronkowski had threw it earlier in the trick. And like I just said, I'm gonna talk about how they may have done this later in this reveal. So at this point, Matt Franco would have gone back to the exact spot where he th was going to throw the towel, or let's say he was just, he probably just stayed there, honestly. He stayed in that exact same position and then handed the phone to someone behind the scenes. And from here, they would have finished the cut, uh, basically the shot of Matt Franco throwing the towel. And that's where I guess they really weren't being careful of making it appear that Matt Franco was in the same exact position and that this was all filmed in one shot. Because like I showed you guys in those two photos earlier, there was a clear difference in Matt Franco's left hand. Right before the camera switch, his hand was spread out. And right after it, it was clenched in a fist. This was probably just, you know, a mistake by Matt Franco. He wasn't aware of what his left hand was doing prior to this camera cut and assuming they actually did one. So from here, Matt Franco would have thrown the towel, it lands, they go over to it and obviously there was no phone inside of it. From here, Matt Franco asks uh, Gronk's trainer to call the phone and they hear a ringtone coming from the football. And this ringtone was so loud that it makes me believe that it probably wasn't actually coming from Rob Gronkowski's phone. It could have been a speaker off camera or it could have simply just been editing. From here, they go over to the football, they hear this ringtone. Matt Franco asks for a knife to cut open the football. And this is the part of this reveal where I'm gonna talk about how the football probably wasn't a real football. Because if you search on YouTube, someone cutting open a football, you will find the channel What's Inside. You know, they cut open a lot of different items. And it's probably, it was one of the earlier videos where they actually cut open a football. And if you guys watch that video, the way they cut open the football, it looks a lot different than what Matt Franco did. Because the football in the What's Inside video, it deflates a little bit and it's kind of just conforming essentially. And in Matt Franco's video, you'll notice when he cuts open the football, it actually doesn't really deflate. It kind of just stays in shape. And it's kind of weird to me because you'd think if it was filled with air, it would simply deflate, but it actually doesn't. He cuts open the very top of it. The football keeps its shape. And then Matt Franco dumped out the phone into Rob Gronkowski's hand. And then that was basically the end of the trick. And everything I have explained in this video about the camera cut would mean that this trick was actually fake. But by no means am I correct. This is just my analysis and my speculation. This very well may have been a real trick that relied on a lot of sleight of hand for Matt Franco. But obviously it is up to you to determine whether you think this trick is fake or not based off of the evidence that I have provided in this video. And if this trick was actually fake, it kind of raises the question of if all the other magic tricks that Matt Franco did in his TV special were fake because obviously at the end of the day the purpose of magic is to entertain people but if that relies on camera cuts and a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes in order to make it appear that someone did an impossible effect I don't think that's very ethical and I just don't really I obviously wouldn't like that and the viewer obviously would not like that either so guys please leave in the comment section below what you think about all of this 
Let me know if you think um, there was enough evidence that I provided in this video of a conclusive camera cut or not. And also, feel free to watch the parts of the video where I showed the actual clip of Matt Franco's performance if you need you know, a little bit of a refresher to make your own opinion and final thought on this whole trick. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, leave in the comment section below your opinions. I'm really here, um, curious to hear what you guys have to say. But if you are new here to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more magic reveals like this. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.